on this video, we'll be diving into the world of industrial machinery, farm machinery, and equipment that has a good return on investment. Some of this machinery, combined with our vast resources here in Africa, can make you a millionaire. So the first machine we're going to look at is the nail making machine. This machine is designed to produce nails in different shapes, forms, and sizes from wire. And any building, any sort of setup will always need nails. The return on investment of this machine is quite amazing. This machine is a game changer for anyone who's looking to get into business without necessarily looking for resources elsewhere. Just get the wire and get the machine. And this machine will do everything and you have a complete product. And this brings us to the next machine, packaging machines. We have packaging machines for different kinds of products. We have packaging machines for, let's say, the nails. We have packaging machines for liquids. We have packaging machines for spices. We have a different kinds of packaging machines available on Alibaba, making them very important due to the utility that they have. They can be used in various different industries. Profit for you. And the beauty about these machines, they pack and brand. So they do it all. It's an all-in-one kind of system. Packaging machines help in value addition. And where we're currently at with the vast resources available in Africa, value addition is a key component in pushing us to the next level. Packaging can be the difference of taking your product from a low-cost product to a higher-cost product just because of the branding element that you've added to your products. And that brings us to the next machine. Charcoal briquette machines, bagasse briquette machines, briquette machines. We have vast resources in Africa and in any production we have wastes. These briquette making machines take advantage of these wastes and turn them into gold, literally. In the sugarcane industries, we have a lot of bagasse that's left out. Instead of throwing this bagasse or even not using it necessarily and use a briquette making machines to produce new products. These briquettes are needed as an energy source for various institutions and various industries. For example, in schools, in schools they use these big cookers that utilize firewood as a source of energy. And we all know that this is not the best way to do it. An example of the sugarcane bagasse is smokeless and gives out even more energy to burn. Remember, this was considered a waste from another company. But for your company, you're actually making an income with it. The next machine that we have is the feed pellet maker. With the changes in climate and the changes in environment, a lot of farmers are finding it hard to feed their animals and their livestock, making farming such an expensive endeavor, but it doesn't have to be that way. For example, let's say you have cattle, you have some livestock, you can grow different kinds of grasses and different kinds of vegetables for the cattle, and then take them to the pellet machine and make pellets for them. This allows you to maximize on your feed and even store your feed better because you can be able to plant more once you have this removed. You don't have to wait for the weather and the seasons to make these actions. The next machine that I want to mention is egg incubators. We have a lot of chicken in Africa and most of this chicken and eggs sometimes go to waste and are just treated as food. But with a lot of critical action and critical thinking, egg incubators will allow us to fasten our production cycle in the chicken farming business. Because we're not relying on the chickens to incubate these eggs, we're using machines. So let's say 20 chicken will incubate 10 eggs each. Those are 200 eggs. But this is the work of just half a machine. So it means in a year, you're able to maximize on the egg production that your chicken are doing and bring in even more flock for you to make even more profit for your business. And looking into the matter of food production, dehydration machines, which is our next machine that you can buy, enable us to store food for longer. And once we're able to store food for longer, it enables us to even plant more and do more because we have the energy storage needed to do more. Another way you can utilize these dehydrators is exportation. Get the produce from Africa, dehydrate it and export it as dried kales, dried fruits, dried all these things that are not easy to find in these developed countries. Another advantage of this dehydrator is all these powders that are needed, all these powders and spices that we use, they have to be dehydrated off the water content for them to be crushed and made into a powder. So the dehydrator is a critical part of that process in value addition. And these are machines that you can import with a good return on income. Which brings us to our next machine, the block making machines. Earlier, I mentioned how we're in that sort of industrialization period where we are building a lot. There's a lot of buildings coming up, but there's a problem in quality assurance because we all know when mixing concrete, air is not supposed to be in that mixture. When air is in that mixture, we start getting weaknesses within the structure, making our structures of not so high quality. But with a block making machine, it has covered all the loopholes into making sure you're making high quality blocks for your construction purposes. The vibrating motion and the molds ensure that you produce the highest quality blocks. And then the beauty about this machine is time. 
It saves you so much on time and labor costs, increasing your return on income. Ensure you have your electricity set up properly or in case you're using solar to ensure it's a proper and strong solar system to run these machines. 3D printers allow us to create three-dimensional objects and items that we have designed in our computers. Some of these components are bespoke to some of the things that we do. E.g. if I wanted to make the frames of these glasses so that I can maybe import the lenses or even just create the lenses, a 3D printer will allow me to do that without necessarily going through a lot of hurdles with middlemen saving up on time and we all know what they say, time is money. And then that brings us to our last product of this video. DTF printers, direct to fabric printers, direct to garment printers. These printers are able to print high quality images and vector graphics onto garments. And with such a printer, your profits will definitely increase because you've saved up on time and your quality has increased.